Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can see by the title, I bought a skincare fridge. That's pretty much the entire concept of this video. If you would like to see why I bought the skincare fridge and what products that I have in it and what it has been doing for me as far as my routine goes, then please keep on watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I put out a new video every Thursday, trying to see if I could post more since I have a lot more free time on my hands. But I am also on social media as well as J Murphy Beauty. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr as well, but you guys could just follow me on those three first ones that I mentioned because I'm most active on those. So yeah, subscribe, hit the bell, and let's get on right into this video. So I just want to say, there's like a forewarning for all of this, I bought this because I wanted to, not because I needed it, not because it was important, not because I wanted to test anything out. I literally just bought it because I wanted to. So, you know, if you want something, you could go out and get it if you have the funds for it, of course. I had gotten a very extensive routine, so I needed some storage, I guess, to put it in because I didn't want to just keep it in my bathroom. Our medicine cabinet is pretty full and also like the sides of my sink are pretty full as well. So I wanted to have a, a space in my bathroom where I could keep everything. And I just thought, you know what? Skincare fridge, let's do it. Obviously this thing has been around for a while. There's no like one skincare fridge. Um, this is just one of many that I was able to find. It's been on Instagram. It's been talked about on Twitter. And there was a shop feature on Instagram that I was looking at where I tried to get it. And and um, that's still such a new feature to Instagram, so I wouldn't recommend getting anything from there just yet. I would wait for it to get a little bit more popular and well structured because, you know, everything on Instagram seems to get better with age. Except their algorithm, but... You know, that's for another video. <laughs> but I would wait it out. I didn't get this from Instagram, but I just got the idea to look for one. And I couldn't even find it when I tried to look for it on that shop page anyway, so just use Amazon. So yes, I did purchase this from Amazon. They're about $35 roundabout as like a mean average price. This one I think was actually like 34, 35 bucks. This one is from Frigidaire. I don't know like if they're like a big refrigerator company, but pretty much when I looked up skincare fridge, they are not branded for that, but they are marketed more so as like a personal cooler. This doesn't get to like any freezing temperatures, but it is something that you could use to put in like a couple of drinks for yourself, beer, sodas, something like that, water bottles, and kind of keep it as like a personal little thing. A lot of the reviews were like, oh, I put this in my office so that I don't have to leave my desk if I want like a refreshing beverage or something. Or like gamers probably are obsessed with this so they can keep their Mountain Dew in there. No judgment, but you know. I was like, okay, this seems legit. This doesn't seem like this is going to be too cold for my products, so I'll just pick this up anyway. So yeah, it wasn't really that expensive. Got here within a couple of days. The rest is history. I'm just going to show you guys what product that I actually put in here. Behold, here's what's in here. And it's just a bunch of expensive ass drunk elephant products. Well, we're not that bougie here, but we do have some cool stuff. So I will be having like a full skincare breakdown for you guys, like a review style of the routine that I've been doing over the past month. That will be coming after this video, so stay tuned for that. So I thought that this would be a good way to introduce you guys to the products that I have been using. I do use a cleanser from First Aid Beauty, but that is not in here because that is just way too big. And so I just decided to just do the rest of my stuff. First product up that I have in here is the Soap and Glory Scrub Atomic. This doesn't really need to be in there. It just feels a little bit nicer on the skin when I'm doing my routine because it has that cooling effect with the polish beads in it and everything like that. I know that face scrubs aren't the best thing for your skin and you really shouldn't be doing it, but this is something that I have been liking and it feels really cooling with the added bonus of it being in a fridge. Not really necessary, but it fits in here, so I might as well just throw it in there, right? Good place for storage. Then I go in with my vitamin C tonic. This has been really great as like a cooling product because as a toner I'm putting it all over the face so it just gives a really nice reaction to my skin where it's like kind of shocked by the coolness. It just relieves any like redness that I might have from the scrubbing from the previous two steps and it just helps to cool it back down and it's also good because this is a vitamin C product and what I've learned briefly about vitamin C stuff is that there's photoreactives in there. 
I took like no science classes in college, in case you didn't know. So when you have a vitamin C product, usually they are kept in dark bottles because vitamin C is susceptible to the sun and can be destroyed by the sun, I guess, or the powers and properties of the product itself will be like less intense if they're exposed to too much sunlight. So putting it in a skincare fridge is actually pretty decent because it gives it a way to protect it from the sun. Don't know if it's helping that much because it's already in a dark bottle, so it doesn't mean that much protecting, but this and a couple of other products that I use that have vitamin C in it, it's been really good to have it in here because at least I'm protecting it from the sun and also keeping it nice and cool so that I guess it'll last a little bit longer. Next up I have a couple of my serums. I'm using the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid, the Ordinary Lactic Acid, and then also the Glow Tonic Serum from Pixi. These are my three little serums and it's nice because they are not too tall so they could fit on this lower shelf. They are also small and compact so you could kind of push them to the back of the skincare fridge but especially I have noticed that when I have them in here and I use them on my face they're a lot more thick and easy to spread around the face and they just feel so it feels like putting ice on your face it makes it a little bit more thick on the skin which I like because at the end of the day after doing like face wash a scrub and a toner my face just needs a little bit more like a thicker product and what I was noticing before I had the skincare fridge and I was doing my routine I didn't need needed to use a little bit more of each product in order to feel like really intensely hydrated but now with the skincare fridge it's making all my products a little bit more cool so that they clump together a little bit more and it's a little bit less liquidy and watery so that's been really good to like thicken things up and help moisturize my face a little bit more i know that i'm leaving this open for a while hope no one's triggered right now it's okay it's not like it's like a freezing cold temperature i'm not gonna get the suds like spongebob did millennial references am i right ladies so now to get into my my moisturizer and eye cream. This is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. This also has vitamin C in it, so it's in a dark bottle, but it has the added benefit of putting it in there. And this is kind of just like why I wanted to get a skincare fridge because I was just really curious about that cooling effect of having something for the under eyes in a cool setting and being able to put it underneath the eye and have that cooling effect and to really wake you up in the morning. I do use this for my morning routine as well as my nighttime routine. So so it's been really good for both of those to help add a little bit more zhuzh to my under eye and make me feel a little bit more bright. It does feel very soothing on the skin once I, once again after using all those really intense products on your skin. It could feel a little bit warm and a little bit irritated so it's good to treat the under eye and make it a little bit more bouncy and hydrated by using a cooling product underneath. And I also like that you get that cooling effect without the artificial cooling products like stuff that has like peppermint and stuff like that to have like an artificial cooling sensation instead of having to do like crazy ingredients underneath your eye which is such a sensitive area so i think that that has been really good for me now my moisturizer is the kiehl's ultra facial cream i really liked this when i got a sample of it from sephora so i thought i'd just get it for my overall cream and this kind of works the same way as the serums do it makes it a lot more thick in the skincare fridge and it just feels a little bit more hydrating on the skin um as you can see i'm like all glowy and stuff like that that's mostly this just helps to really lock everything in it it just helps to have something that's really thick on top of all of that to preserve everything. So I've been really liking this for its cooling sensation and also like how thick it gets when it's in the skincare fridge. And then the last thing I want to talk about is the e.l.f. Nourish Nourishing Facial Oil. This I, I was afraid to put in the skincare fridge because it is an oil so I thought you know maybe it's just gonna make it too thick and it's not going to work as well. Now I don't know if that like has an effect on it but it has felt really good on the skin as like my last final lock it in product because it is once again cool it goes all over the face and it's a little bit thicker because it is in the fridge so it just feels really nice and also very refreshing as well as nourishing so it, this has been good to keep in the fridge as well I'm wondering what these things and then the thing in the back is those are my boyfriend's skincare products which by the way if you watch my last video he has done his skincare routine a total of zero times since we recorded that video but now they're in my fridge, so yay. Let me get everything in here and close this up before everybody screams at me in the comments. Okay, so like I said, this doesn't get too freezing. It's more like a cooling thing, just settles on there in the middle of the road. Just like a regular fridge, but it's a little bit less crazy because this is, you know, less wattage. You don't pick like what temperature it's on. It just has like a standard temperature. So I don't really know what temperature it's at. The manual wasn't really helpful, so 
I would do your research really extensively just to make sure that you're getting the right thing. Overall, this was just like a silly purchase, I will say, but it was still really fun to get and it's still fun to use every night. And it's also just been overall very convenient to have because it stores everything in one place. Before I got this, I was keeping everything in a clear bag that I had because I didn't want anything like, like I said, sitting in the bathroom because that is like a more moist environment. And also like I could be kind of forgetful about things. This is a way for me to remember all the products that I need to use every night. And also it's just a great way to store everything so that I'm not cluttering up the bathroom too much. This fits comfortably on my sink. I do keep this on the side. It doesn't take up too much space and you could fit other things in here. Like if you have a little bit more space in there and you want to throw in a beer, go ahead. You know, it's a nice chill environment to put your stuff in because that is what its original intent is. But using this for skincare has been a delight so far. I will provide the link for this particular specific fridge in the description box below. If you want to get this one, you think it's really cute, but they do have a bunch of different colors, maybe even different sizes. I didn't really focus on the sizing too much. I just wanted something nice and compact. It's not too heavy either if you need to move it around everywhere, if you have to carry it somewhere, not heavy at all. I think the only drawback is that the condensation does make it a little bit wet in there sometimes. And also when you're doing your routine, like your products are really wet so it's hard to open things, but those are just like things that you could settle with a, a dish towel or something like that and just really clean it up a little bit. But that is something to be aware of. Also make sure that you seal everything tightly when you put it in there because once again that condensation could get into your products and having too much water in there could affect the way that it performs and could also contaminate it a little bit. I'm not trying to get mold up in here, you know what I mean? But overall this was a fun purchase. It wasn't like the most important thing that I've ever bought in my life but it was fun to get and it's fun to use and I, I don't know, I recommend it. Let me know if you have a skincare fridge down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it um, and learned a little bit more about skincare fridges and their benefits. I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!